Hey guys, welcome to Prince of Peace Tarot. I'm Justin, and today I'll be doing a reading for those of you with Leo placements in your chart. So if you have Leo anywhere within your chart, this reading could resonate. And if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and hit the notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. Okay guys, so before I jump into your spread, let's say a prayer. Infinite Creator, Olodumare, to my higher self, my Ori, Ashu, Obatala, to the Agoon Marine Laie, Holy Spirit, Spirit Guides, to my benevolent ancestors, known and unknown, Florian Williams, Norman Williams, Exius Willie, thank you for allowing me to source the most accurate reading for those with Leo placements in their chart. All right, guys, let's get into this reading. It's a five-card spread, including the top and bottom of the deck. First card out is the Three of Cups in reverse. You got the Fool in reverse. Justice in the reverse. Judgment in the reverse. The devil in the reverse. At the top of the deck, you have the Ace of Pentacles in the upright. And the Ten of Swords in the reverse at the bottom of the deck. Guys, so uh, this, you guys got a lot of major arcana. A lot. You have the Fool, Justice, Judgment, the Devil. That's four out of seven cards on the uh, table. Um, this must be a big deal for some of you. The one thing that I saw, three of the cards that are really relating, music is a big thing. Okay, like I was saying, there's something about music and I'm getting that with the uh, Fool, with the Devil, and the Three of Cups, okay? So sometimes like the Devil and the Fool remind me of the uh, Greek god uh, Pan. Okay, even the devil, a lot of its symbolism of the goat legs is, um, uh, it mimics the, the goat god, uh, half goat, half man, Pan. Okay, he's, um, he uses his flute and it causes excitement. And sometimes when things go too far, it causes panic. Okay, and then the three of cups has given me like a party, a celebration. Okay, so this is, it's either a party, a concert, or a music deal. And the reason why I can get a little bit into the music deal is because of justice, okay? Because this would bring up something legal, maybe a contract, okay? But then you also have judgment. So when you get justice and judgment together like this in the reverse, that is misjudging a situation. Totally, totally misjudging something. Um, really thinking that it was gonna be one way and then it turns out to be something totally different. With the Ten of Swords, especially Ten of Swords in reverse, there's an energy of betrayal or pain, okay? Betrayal or pain. So um, someone is going to offer something to you. Someone may offer you, hey, uh, let's go out. Let's go out, come to this concert, or take this deal, all right? Because there could be some money involved. If the offer could just be asking you to do something or, you know, if you do this, I'm going to give you X amount of dollars, all right? The thing about this, uh, and I'm gonna tell you how you would know if this reading resonates for you because this reading is not gonna resonate for everyone. You'll know this reading is for you is because we have uh, this judgment card, which is a resurrection. And then we got this three of cups card, right? So what this is telling me is, this is coming from someone you haven't talked to in a while, but you haven't talked to them in a while for a reason, right? Because either this person like goes too hard when they party, probably do a lot of drugs or um, just go all night. Like you, like you are not in that energy. They can go all night or there was something that happened between you two in the past where y'all had a fall, excuse me, where you guys had a falling out. But for whatever reason, this person has come back around again and they're offering, you know, maybe you ran into them or something, I don't know, but they're offering for you to come somewhere, maybe to make amends or maybe not. Maybe this isn't about making a, an amends because I don't like the Ten of Swords, okay? And, you know, I would hate for you to like walk into a setup or something. Because I just, this, when when I get the full in any spread, even when I um, get it for myself, I don't care how bad I want to do something. When I get the full, I never ignore that because it, it's telling me you would be foolish to do this. It would hurt you in a way that you have no control over like you lose control when you get the fool in reverse and this could be a situation where you don't have any kind of control like once it happens 
there's nothing you can do to sort of make it better or possibly get out in time. What you know, because tennis horse could, like I said, it could be pain. So it's like, yeah, you do get injured or something. Because remember, we talked about uh, pain and pain is panic. So let's say um, you're at this thing and the crowd goes crazy or something happens. It's like, yeah, you, you ended up getting hurt. You ended up getting hurt or have to recover from something. The other thing is you would know if this has something to do with you because of justice. So justice and the three of cups would tell me that um, you are already you already planned something. So you already have a plan or you're already a part of a particular thing. And this person is asking you to go. So now you're like weighing up your options. They may say, hey, when you're done doing this thing, come out and meet us up over at this thing. Or for you, it's like either I'm going to do one or the other. So you're like weighing up your options. OK, so either you're going to go to two things or you're going to go to one. But um, if you already made a particular plan that was of your own idea or doing didn't come from somebody you don't talk to anymore or someone you feel is a little shady, go with your plan. OK, go with your plan and skip out on this. There's this other the word cowardice kept coming up and I can't necessarily pinpoint why, but it would only apply to you as if you let this person twist your arm into going like they may really keep saying, you know, you you should come. You should go. This is going to be fun. Or, you you know, you you being a pussy or something, something like that. Right. They're really going to be like really trying to get you to do this thing. OK. But it's not in your favor. It would be an injustice to you. Whatever this is would be an injustice. OK, wouldn't be something that you can recover from so fast. Whatever it is, if this is like business deal, it's like, man, I, I signed, <clears throat> excuse me, I signed a contract uh, that is very hard for me to get out of or um, the the whatever stipulations or whatever are in the contract weren't in favor of me something that didn't wasn't benefiting me at all okay that like devil's in the details right if you didn't read it read through something this is and there is a part of me to like overall i can feel that this inner this event or this thing is not safe but there's also a part of me that feels like someone knows that it's not safe OK, this could also be like, hey, come to this place and, you know, we'll be doing X, Y and Z. And then you get there and it's a whole different thing. Like, I thought we were coming here for this and like everybody's doing something that I didn't even think we were coming here for kind of thing, you know, like maybe on purpose kind of thing. Now, if you really don't like this person and you feel like something's wrong, it could be a setup, right? Ten of Swords really makes me feel like uh, some sort of betrayal or abandonment. Like if something goes crazy or something goes wrong, you look to your left, you look to your right. The person you came with is no longer there. OK, so I don't know what this is, but it's a big deal. It has something to do with music or a party or something like that with the full devil, three of cups. Like I said before, either you're going to be weighing up your options, whether to go to this thing It'll be coming from somebody who you either don't deal with or who, you know, like um, maybe I had a fallen out in the past. It is definitely an offer. Right. It wouldn't have been your idea. OK, so that is how you know if this resonates with you. All right, guys. So if it does, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, hit the uh, notification bell. That way you'll be updated anytime that I put out a reading. If you want to book a personal reading, the link to book is in the description box below.